Okay, Salawam, Salawam, Kwam Yasa Allah, Kohaloyim La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Jachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit and. This right here ought to let you know, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that we need out of here. <laughs> you know, you need to um, let go of America. Let go of white society. Let go of anything that has to do with um, democracy. You know, all that bullshit. Let go of white Jesus. This is all white Jesus um, flood behavior right here. Man born black says he's now a white woman. I know race is not real. <laughs> Man, the police pull you over, digga. You talking that shit, bro. They gonna whoop you over the head with them nightsticks. Taser your ass. Pull the pistol on you the whole thing. They gonna whoop, they gonna they gonna whoop on you, boy. <laughs> Thinking that bullshit. Put try and pull that shit. Get pulling over with a damn uh, uh traffic ticket. Try going to the courthouses talking that shit. I wanna change my my gender to um, um, a, a so-called white woman. Not only do he wants to change his race, he wants to change his gender at the same time. And let you know how how confusing this place is. This really is Babylon the Great, man. So like you. It says a man who was born black named Dr. Ronnie Gladden has revealed that he now identifies as a white woman and believe that race is not real. Like many young girls who had a dream of looking like Snow White, Dr. Ronnie Gladden envisioned a pride and justice and prejudice, pride and prejudice lifestyle, and look to emulate L. Fleming's fashions. The childhood fantasy of a little girl lying in the sun with blonde hair. <laughs> that light in the summer were no different for Gladden, who grew up as a black boy in the west side of Cincinnati. Boy, turned out weird as hell, boy. Golly. I mean, good googly goo, bro. How, how, how that happened? It's like you. Let me see what else they had in here. Damn, was that it? I think I might. Oh, let me see. Read more. Let's get it. Gladden is now an English professor. Bro, this motherfucker teaching school somewhere. And belongs to a little known community of people known as transracial. Meaning they are both transgender and identify as transracial. Poor. Hey, this right here lets you know that this place is far worse. This This has to be the worst generation on the planet. This is absolutely flood behavior. Matter of fact, fire behavior. Because, you know, in the ancient days, you know, the Lord flooded this place out and only left eight people alive. Noah, you know, his wife and um, his three sons and their wives. Man, the Lord is about to do a number, especially on these Americas. This place must go. This is what happens when you're when you're in captivity to um, wick wickedness for 500 or so years, man. This is what happens when the, when the wicked um, um, run, um, run the planet, man. Says, uh, <laughs> this shit is retarded. So he grew up in Cincinnati, has said their identity journey has been shaped by a repressed white female identity that they initially felt from an early age. Gladden is now a middle aged and committed, he's middle aged, committed to promoting what they described as a transracial identity, which rejects the notion that race is biological or fixed. All right. You wait till the race war start. We're going to see, buddy. You claiming to be a so-called white woman. Are these motherfuckers going to stop, slack up from um, fucking you up? You know, these so-called white people, these Edomites. So you, you, you're you you're claiming to be an Edomite, a Shedomite, an Edomite woman. Confusion. Matter of fact, let's get that one scripture, man. Lord is not the author of confusion, man. This is a quick one, though. But this is this is Babylon, man. Can't can't um can't get no no better out of this place. First Corinthians fourteen and thirty three. For Yahweh is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. This is complete confusion. He, he got he who knows, man. Ain't no telling with these people, bro. He could be serious as hell. Some of these people be playing games. Gotta be. Some of this shit you be looking at, man, it, it, it can't be real. But I don't doubt this, though. 
I, I really, I, I have to kind of believe that this is real. Because it is capable in this planet with Esau Edom, the so-called white man running shit. Also, Gladden uses they or them pronouns and claims that societal constructs around race and gender should not limit identity. I know race is not real. They write in their book. It's only so because society says it is. They write in their book. Gladden recalled feeling a connection to white femininity from childhood and said they long to be like their white girl peers as a preschooler. <laughs> they long to be like their white girl peers, recalling moments on the playground where they wanted to animate in the same way that I saw my classmates, the way their hair would respond to the wind. Nigga crazy, bro. <laughs> in recent years, Gladden has increasingly embraced a publicly a public identity as a white woman. They describe their appearance as one that fully aligns with this inner identity but indicates that they began cosmetic procedures at 19 including a nose job and some work on the lips what, you identifying as a white woman what you need all that for nigga why don't you your features already fit the white woman they also wear a foundation in a lighter shade <laughs> they're their natural skin tone my skin is pretty brown in terms of complexion but i see that as an expression of my mind Gladden told BBC Radio 4. Gladden further revealed that realizing their white female identity was surprising, perplexing, daunting, and extremely inconvenient. This self-discovery journey, <laughs> which included nearly two decades of therapy, was psychologically weighty, sending them into the depths of depression and a minor um, oblivion. And it's, this guy, supposedly he's teaching somebody's kids. Gladden believes childhood trauma, including an abusive father and the murder of their half sister, also influenced their identity. This nigga is multiple people here. Looking back, Gladden said they recall thinking that if they had been a white girl, they might have had more power to resist the violence. I thought there was a power of beauty, a power of skin. No, oh, man, they so called white women going through shit, too. A, a, a lot of the times I'm um, trying to fight their damn daddy off of them at night or trying to fight their brother off of them at night if you know what i'm talking about what the hell are he talking about they ain't they ain't got it all super duper like that bro you got your damn mind during a td tedx talk glad touched on transracial identities in popular culture and and reference portrayals like whoopi goldberg as a white male and the associate and jennifer lawrence's mystique in the marvel franchise oh my goodness Stating that Mystique represents an amalgamation of different races, ethnicities, and even species. Yeah, you've been you've been watching too many um X um. Let me see. You've been watching too many of those motherfucking X Men movies, guy. That shit you talking about stupid. You can't separate. You know what I'm saying? Um 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 a damn movie from real life. Well, obviously he can't because he's this guy and he's he's actually supposedly he's a teacher he's teaching somebody's kids oh man look bro this place is through <laughs> look at this nigga man look at him he identifies <laughs> as a white woman hey well i'll tell you what try and run up on uh, uh one of them trump supporters one of them white boys talking about you need a you 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 need a good man or you want to date and see how that turn out for you nigga as a matter of fact, just just roll up to a Trump rally. You ain't even got to say nothing. Just show up looking like how you looking with that with that Make America Great Again hat on and see how that turns out with you. Just being around so-called white people. Less on talking about you a so-called white woman. See how that shit turns out for you, brother. Not going to be. Boy, we need out of here, man. Let me get uh, one more. I'm not going to even keep this. <laughs> I'm not going to even keep this long, man. I, I, I just seen it and I was like, I had to read it. I, I had to just, you know, go into this, man, by the Spirit to show you just how destroyed we are as a people. The Lord told us, don't be like these other nations, man. When you, when, when you get into A, hey, that's why it's so important to meditate on the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai day and night. Because there's so many things that can creep in, you know. And that's, that's uh, you know, uh, believers. That's believers, you know what I'm saying? Shit can creep in. Just imagine somebody like this right here, man, that has absolutely no idea 
about the scriptures that have absolutely no idea. Now, can can he come out of that and be saved? I mean, or, you know, can he come out of that and the Lord wake him up? And he could be one of the elect. I can't say that he's not. But that's the reason why we have to do these lessons. That's the reason why we have to go out on the highways and byways. Because if he ran across um one of the elders or apostles, you know what I'm saying? They'll deal with him, if, 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 you know, but, but. You know, yeah, he, of course, you know, you're going to he's going to have a gang of demons on him. He's going to have a da a gang of um different spirits on him, man, because this is that's some real serious shit he's talking about here. It, it's not only is he. You're not just dealing with. A man that 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 deals with men, you know, or, you know, uh, uh, uh you know, that, that that's something, you know, that that's a spirit in itself. This motherfucker is talking about he's a whole another race of people. He's a he, he he's a he's another race of a. Uh, uh, bro. All right. Anyway, <laughs> let me just uh, I'm just at a loss of words, man. Let's get um, Micah two and ten. This is why we need to come out of this place. This is why mindset wise, the only thing that we should be thinking on is these scriptures. Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. This is, hey, this is why we are not to deal with these other nations and their philosophies and their way of doing things, their holidays, their um, ways of um, eating, their foods, their cultures, their music, you know, their sports and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with watching sports and listening to music and stuff like that, but you have to be at a point of, Knowing when to how, when and how to separate yourself from this place. You most definitely should not be celebrating Christmas. You shouldn't be celebrating. You shouldn't be doing anything that these people are into. You should be just going to work, getting your money, getting your little deli bread, providing for your household, paying your bills and and and, and doing this work and riding out the wave until Yahweh Bashim Shai come. Because you can't tell me the Lord is not coming to um rat, uh, uh, eradicate shit like this. You can't tell me the Lord is going to allow shit like this to carry on. This dude said he's a... Uh, uh... <sighs> anyway, man. Shit is vexing, bro. Shit is just super. Just when you just, just when you just think that you done seen it all. Ecclesiastes seven and seven. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. This place, man, will make you, you know, it, it just pisses you off, bro. On a day to day basis, it's just you just throughout the day, but you have to be patient. You have to just look at it and say, well, all right, well, the Lord is not gonna um, allow this to. You know, continue for too much more longer. And that's the way that we should see it and see it as, pro um, you know, um, prosperous from our side. You know what I'm saying? Because these these types of things got to happen. I mean, this is the weird some of the weirdest shit I've heard of. I know I've heard of some weird shit and seen some weird stories. Yeah, Jake just threw, though. Jake is out here just extra, extra through. You know, you got little Uzi Verts and... <laughs> You got, man, oh, man, bro. Jake is extra through, bro. Extra through. And again, this guy is a, this guy is teaching somebody's kids in school. And that's crazy within itself. Just think about you having to send your children to school to learn Esau, Edom, the so-called white man's curriculum. And, a, and and one of these guys is teaching them. He's showing up in the, ooh, this nigga got on a fishnet shirt. Let me see. Look at him. You can already tell. Some ain't right about him. You 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 can see the spirit on him. So you went from this little Jake with the Mickey Mouse shirt on to this guy. On the east side of Cincinnati. How, how, how in the hell did you get to that point? Probably more than likely his parents. So you know, they he, he had to have grown up around some Edomites with this. You know, their parents probably moved from the hood. We're going to make life better. We're going to get our kids a better education. And you get around these fucking heathen and your children turn out to be damn monsters, bro. This right here. Is, <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to laugh at it, but it's like, yeah, at least it's comical, but it's serious, man. This is the, this is the state that our people are in and we need out of here. We really do. We we really do need our savior, man. We We need out of here. You can't tell me this right here. How long can this place last with shit like this going on? Man born black says he's now a white woman. I know race is not real. 
Well, first off, there's no such thing as black people and there's no such thing as white white people. He did m mention social construct. He doesn't even understand that black is a social construct and white is a social construct. He's an Israelite. If he's a so-called black man, he's actually he would be a, a, from the tribe of Judah or Yahweh, the same tribe um, Yahweh Shai is from, which the world equally calls Jesus. He probably, you know, because actually that white Jesus looked like a white woman. <laughs> like, golly, dude, damn, what happened? But hey, this, this this comes from being here too long and we need out of here. This brother come back in the kingdom, man, and he'll know that, damn, I was going way the hell off. What the fuck was I thinking? So it's not going to do. I didn't want to keep this long. I was just I seen this and I'm like, wow, this is we just have to just show these types of stories to show just how far along we are. And just how close we are to the Lord's coming too, as well. This right here, it shows you how far the Israelites have fallen and how close we are to the rise of the Israelites. This a uh, <laughs> this right here is the end of Esau's kingdom. This Edomite shit. This is that 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 flood behavior right here, man. And it's coming soon in in, in, in a form of fire, though. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Allah and a Baba Ball.